This is Access Brevard. We're here at the King Center for the Brevard Symphony Orchestra. Their season finale is coming up this Saturday night. And if you're a music lover, you're going to want to get tickets for that. There are some benefits to being a season subscriber. And this is one of them. We are at an event that's being held exclusively for their subscribers. And they're going to get a preview of what the concert is going to be like tomorrow night. And we're going to get you a little sneak peek too. It is an honor to be here with the Brevard Symphony Orchestra's musical director and principal conductor, Christopher Confessori. Thank you, Maestro, for speaking with us tonight. My pleasure. Now, I know that you are planning to do Mahler for your season finale. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure, this is a, a great big symphony. It's almost an hour long. It uh, uses an orchestra of uh, more than 90 musicians. And, uh, you know, Mahler was uh, the type of person that when he decided he was going to say something, he needed to say it in a big way. And that's what this symphony is all about. It's about nature. It's about, you know, reflecting back on his childhood. Just sort of uh, a big musical scrapbook of his life. Wow, that will be fabulous. Now, the season subscribers are going to get a little taste of that tonight. And this is the first time you've put all the instruments together tonight? That's correct. Tonight will be the first time uh, we're rehearsing everybody together. So it's an exciting time for our guests to, uh, you know, a lot of times orchestras will open up a dress rehearsal, like a final rehearsal to guests. And, you know, you'll just hear the sort of the fine tuning that's done you know, before the, uh, before the finished performance. But this will, will let them hear how far, you know, things really uh, progress uh, over the course of a couple of rehearsals. So. Oh, great. I bet you're anxious to get it all put together. Oh, yeah. We're all very excited. We're looking forward to this for over a year. Great. Okay. And now, um, also, you're going to be having a new season come up. Um, you want to start fresh and new. Do you already have plans for that? Oh, yeah, we have all of our all of our performance dates uh, were selected several months ago, and and we finalized all of the music we'll play and the guest artists that we'll have uh, maybe uh, two months or a month and a half ago. So uh, we just released that uh, information to our subscribers earlier this week, and they're already. Uh, renewing uh, their their tickets yes. for next year and we have uh, lots of exciting repertoire planned for next year also. I bet and you have been the uh, musical director here for 17 years. I have, yes. And you also have been a guest conductor at many other places. Can you tell me about that? Sure, yeah. I've had the opportunity to serve as a guest conductor and a number of different orchestras here in Florida and around the southeast, Charlotte, North Carolina, um, Chattanooga, Tennessee, and, and you know, down in Naples and Jacksonville and different places. And it's always fun to, uh, you know, to get to come in and work with a new group of musicians over a really short period of time. But whenever I come back to the Brevard Symphony, I know I'm home and this is my favorite orchestra. So. Absolutely, right here in Florida, taking care of your orchestra, your baby. <laughs> and um, now you, you pick out all the music, it's, it's, it's all you just sort of get inspired and decide on what you want to do. I have a committee uh, of board members that I work with along with our uh, our staff, you know, and we, because sometimes if just one person does all the selection, you know, it's, it's... Uh, you want to mix it up a exactly. little with somebody yeah. else's ideas. It's always a good idea to, to bounce things off other people and we've had great input uh, over, over the years and, um, you know, we've, uh, we always try to have uh, interesting programs where the audience will, will come to hear a concert and hear something by a composer they're familiar with yes. as well as hopefully something they're hearing maybe for the first time. Yes, absolutely. Well, we are very excited about your concert coming up and I hope everybody's going to be getting tickets for that and um, good luck with it and we can't wait to see you next season. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for you. being here. President of the Board of the Directors and can you tell me your involvement with the Brevard Symphony Orchestra? Well I've been involved on the Board of Directors for the last nine years. 
and this uh, this year I'm currently the chairman or the president of the board of directors at the Brevard Symphony Orchestra. Great. Now, do you have a favorite composer or something that you really like to hear the symphony um, perform? Uh, I, I don't particularly have any, any favorite composer, but uh, a lot of the, the, the classical music that we, we play uh, is, is based every year on different composers so we can mix it up. We always like Beethoven. We have, yes. have that coming up this weekend. And, and we, we always like Mendelssohn. And we have a, a great depth of different kinds of uh, music every year. So we're, we have, we're looking forward to our last concert this year uh, coming up on, on Sunday. Absolutely. Yes. On Saturday, rather. On Saturday, yes. And then we have, we, we've already established our, our, um, uh, our music for next year. And I, th I think that's just gone out uh, to, on the, to the public. I wish I had taken a copy of that so I could go through it with you. I, I'm yes. sorry I didn't. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, but they can get tickets at the King Center or, um, well, that's for now because... Or online at, oh. at the Bavard Symphony Orchestra com. There you go. And um, we really appreciate you talking with us. My pleasure. I thank you for being here tonight. Okay, Betty Lou is a subscriber with the Brevard Symphony Orchestra, and how many years have you been a subscriber? Is this your first time? Or? No, I have been a uh, subscriber for at least 10 years. More, and I also belong to the Symphony Guild. Oh, wonderful. Supports the, um, the arts, or supports the Brevard Symphony Orchestra. Uh, we have a South Guild and a North Guild, and we've done our very best to make sure that the symphony stays here. Wonderful, yes. So so that it's current for everyone around here and it's local and it's beautiful music for us. And we don't have to go to Orlando. The music is fantastic. I come from Syracuse, New York, and they've already lost their orchestra there. And that is a Syracuse University, and I was just heartbroken when I heard that and feel so fortunate that we have this orchestra. Our conductor, Chris Confessori, is the best. And if you haven't attended the symphony, you're in for a treat because he has such a personality. And he, nice. he doesn't make it feel stuffy. He is so, so close to, the, to, the, uh, to everyone in the theater that you enjoy everything. And you know what's going on. And they even have a pre-program uh, uh, interview that they can come and, and he will give you uh, information regarding the program for the evening. And oh, that's wonderful. Information. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us and enjoy the concert tomorrow night. I will, and thank you so much for having me. And everybody, please come and see Rivard Symphony Orchestra. the president of the North Guild and we are surrounded by instruments behind us right now beginning yeah, it's just great just great it's a wonderful evening to come down and watch them practice and then come back two days later and hear the final product so it's a big excitement yes it is it is actually very exciting I'm getting exciting hearing them behind me now what is some of your involvement with the Brevard Symphony Orchestra I have been the president of the North Guild for about six or seven years uh, I'm going to also be the incoming chair-elect next year. Uh, I've been just involved in all of the fundraising activities, and one of my biggest projects is we're going to bring the Brevard Symphony to North Brevard this coming December, the first time in 17 years that the symphony has been in Titusville. So we have a big project ahead of us. We're really excited about it. That will be very exciting, what is coming to Titusville. That will be wonderful. My friends will be very happy about that. Absolutely. We definitely want them to buy a ticket. It's a fundraiser for the symphony. And um, we will, the, one of the other exciting things is the three high school choral groups in North Brevard will join together as one chorus and will sing with the symphony for the holiday concert. Yeah, it will be wonderful. That's very good for the students. It's a community. I mean, it's, this is just something that has uh, been on our burner for a long time. I know we can pull it off. It'll be wonderful. That is such great news. Now, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you, sir.
Thank you. Thank you. The Brevard Symphony Orchestra will be performing Mahler Saturday night at 8 p.m. And Brevard Symphony Orchestra is going to be at its fullest on this night. They are in a surplus of 40 musicians for this performance. And um, they said if they were going to do Mahler, they were going to go big or go home. So they're going to go big and full, and it's going to be live. And this is something that the orchestra has worked really hard to make happen. That includes their musicians. This is a piece of music that they are very passionate about doing, very excited about it. So you can call the ticket office at 321-242-2219 here at the King Center to get tickets. And it is at 8 p.m. on Saturday. Or or you can go online, or you can just come to the ticket counter. There is no problem with that. Just drop by and come on to the concert. Um, teachers and students do get a 50% off discount for sections two and three. So that is a really good deal for you guys. And those tickets start at $34.